Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use schematic channels in Frosty Editor for PVZ GB2. First, open the gameplay folder, second so click channel, and I'm going to tap on client human player channel, and check its bundles. It's in character shared and weapon shared, so that's good. Now I'll right click it, and select duplicate. I'm going to make my own channel called Pause Timer Channel. And save. Open up your new channel. I'm going to remove all the existing property event items and add just one event item. This one will be a client event. The next thing I'll do is check the references to the client human player channel. I'll open audio boss hunt prefab. Open objects. Open item 4, the schematic channel entity. And copy this item. So now I'm going to open soldiers. Single click human. And open MP zombie elf star. Open the object, add a new component, and increase all these counts by one. Open the components, scroll to the bottom, and paste the schematic channel over your new item. Open it up. and assign your custom channel to the channel. Scroll back up, open the event connections, and I'm going to insert one after connection six. Open that up, and I'll set the source to the talk component data. and the target to my new schematic channel. I'll set the source event to on taunt started. And for the target event, I'm going to create one called pause timer. This event will pass through the schematic channel and trigger logic in another file. Since it's a client event, set the target type to client. Scroll back down. And copy that schematic channel. And I'm going to open game modes. Game mode logic. Single click in game logic and open the one for Gnome Bomb. Add two new objects, open the objects, paste the schematic channel there. The other item we'll need is an event sync, so go to Rush in Game Logic, open the objects, copy an event sync entity, go back to Gnome Bombs in Game Logic, and paste it here. Scroll to the top of the file, open the event connections, add two new ones, scroll down, and open the first new connection you made. I'm going to set the source to the schematic channel. And set the target to the event sync. For the source event, it's going to be the custom one I created, pause timer. The target event is going to be client. And the target type will also be client. 
Remember, event syncs convert client to server events. For the second connection, set the source to the event sync. And set the target to the PVZ sync timer. Set the source event to out. And finally, set the target event to pause. The target type for this one will be server. One last thing before we save, and this is actually what caused the project not to work when I launched it, is you need to have the right flags. So where the schematic channel is used as a source, in this case the GNOME Bombing Game Logic file, you will need the flags 274-69178. But where the schematic channel is used as a target, in this case the L-Star Soldier file, you'll need the flags 512375980. So anyways, you can save the project, and I'll call it pause GB timer. Let's launch the game to see if Taunting as All-Star pauses the Gnome Bomb timer. Alright, I'm loading into a private match of Gnome Bomb. <laughs> Let's taunt. And the timer got paused. So that is how you use schematic channels, one of the coolest features of Frosty. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more crap like this.